nothing on that. Hello everyone, Tiara here with Lumina Fake Creations. I'm starting over, but not really because I can't fix what I just did. Not hit the record button. Thanks for tuning in to another soap making adventure and it's off to a good start as I just started here and I've added in my goat milk slurry which is a little bit of water with goat milk powder. I mixed that into my room temperature oils. I added my lye solution. We are making a autumn harvest soap. I'm, I'm not sure if I want to call it Autumn Harvest or Autumn Walk. I've made many different versions of this soap before, but I like to bring it back every year, switch things up from like the fragrances, the embeds, the colors, same concept. It's all about fall right now. This is that time of the year where I just knock them all out. Everything pumpkin, everything leaves. My favorite time of the year, if you didn't know that already. I'm just trying to get my lye solution and my oils here to trace so that I can continue on with my little soap making session. <laughs> colors in the soap. I've split it into three containers. One big, one medium, and one small. The big container, I'm already starting this off wrong. I am rushing. I'm trying to get 50 million things done in the few hours that I have my mother here <laughs> to watch the baby. We have got some ruby red by Nurture Soap going into the big bucket. Little bucket next. We are adding um, which one do I want to do? <laughs> Let's add the fire cider into the little bucket. This is like a pretty burnt orange color. Good. And then the medium bowl. I am doing copper penny. All by Nurture Soap. We're going to start whisking them. Well, mixing. I keep saying whisking. We are mixing those colors in. is from a crafter's choice it is called autumn spice it says reminiscent of a fall walk with notes of cedarwood and fir needles anchored with cinnamon coriander and jasmine it is also says it's going to accelerate so let's cross our fingers as we add this in and we stir it and I'm going to be honest I don't really get autumn out of this fragrance. I totally pick up those floral notes in there of that jasmine and I'm really hoping it morphs a little bit once it's in the soap and more of those other scents come out in there because it doesn't smell like autumn to me at all. So let's go ahead and stir it in. I'm going to do it in the pot swirl and cross my fingers that get it all into the mold before it accelerates on me. I, if it does, I'm blaming that floral note that I'm already hating. Crossing fingers also that it tones itself down and turns out to be more autumn. It is totally turning this like a bright orange yellow in here. Can't believe I've never used this fragrance before. I don't know, maybe it's new. Or I've used it before, I don't remember, because that's a thing too. Alright, let me get this mixed in. Do a little in the pot swirl into this big bucket. Get the pouring and show you my mids. Well, the top of the soap is not becoming at all, but we are going to cover it up, so it is fine. I have some Melton Pour leaves that I've colored in different colors. I've got some Melton Pour cinnamon sticks, and I have at the bottom of this some Putka pods. So we are just going to decorate 
the top of this soap and cover up this mess. Now I have worked with worse accelerating fragrances. If you've stuck around, you you will know that. <laughs> so it's not the worst experience I've ever had, but it's um, not my favorite fragrance. I gotta say, this is why people, um, soap makers, test out their fragrances before they use them. But I would have, I don't know, I, I would have hated to not use it and then have it come out smelling delicious anyway. That's just my hopes right there. That is what I'm hoping for, that it's just going to turn around and be all worth it. Because I don't have time to test fragrances, you guys. I really don't. It's in the perfect world. And I don't live in that perfect world. I got way too much going on around here and too many hobbies that I just keep trying to get into. So I was going for these rustic, warm, fall, like, colors here they're very rust looking warm but that fragrance did a little something I wasn't expecting now I totally think it's going to just go back to the colors that it's supposed to there is no vanillin in this uh, fragrance so there's that that shouldn't interfere with the colors morphing but yeah, it's, um, I mean, it's still pretty, but the fact is I wanted <laughs> these colors to really pop. Look, I have one brown leaf out of all of that. That's fine. No, you can't be next to that orange. Mm, I guess I made more orange than I did anything else, but oh, there's more yellow. Maybe there's more yellow. Here, stick a red one there. And um, this guy is going to go here. But I really want these colors to pop. And I also have another embed that I'm going to put on front. So let's see where we're going to put you at. I'm going to squeeze you right there. Speaking of time and trying to do a million things and have a million hobbies at once, I joined a Facebook group called Mom Swap of Harford County. And the first thing that popped up was slip casting molds like a hundred and fifty of them for a hundred dollars I have never used to slip cast anything in my life <laughs> I blame TikTok as I do with most of the things that I want to try from recipes to crafts to life hacks um, I, I saw someone on TikTok and I don't remember her name if I, if I think of it maybe when I cut the soap I'll be more prepared but she does these like mystery molds that she pours into and she doesn't know what it's going to be until she unmolds it and then she paints it to look all pretty and cute. Well, I was like, I have a pottery wheel, I'm going to get a kiln and I think I can do this. And that is the really the best deal. That is such a good deal for all of those casts or plaster casts that you pour, whoops, upside down, you pour slip into it's like watered down clay you let it sit you remove it and then you come out with whatever shape is in that cast and then you paint it and you fire it how cool right I could sit there and watch it on Netflix all day Netflix <laughs> I could watch it on TikTok all day but again I've never done it and now here's another hobby that I've decided I wanted to spend money and get into and not even have a kiln but I have a friend who might possibly Either lend me her kiln or send me her, send it to me to borrow um, to pay for over time to just I don't know give it to me fingers crossed she's supposed to get back to me kilns are really expensive and since you know I've never made it well I've, I've done a pottery class once okay <laughs> but for some reason I think I can do it so that'll be more creations in the future that perhaps if you want to follow me on TikTok and I get around to it, that is what I'm going to be doing. So I will just, I tell you, a hundred dollars for a hundred and fifty of these is the best deal ever. And I sent to my sister and she was the biggest influencer of it. Like she was like, get it, I'll go in halves with you. And I'm like, are you sure we should be doing this? And she's like, you're not going to find anything like that ever again. All right, what else is going on this soap? How about some cranberry seeds and glitter? I like to think of myself as a very crafty person. I get into all kinds of things, and the other thing that I want to get into is, is it a cricket? A cricket? 
I want one of those. I bought myself this cup, a Starbucks, Starbucks cup off of an Etsy shop, and it says um, boy mama on it, and it has like dinosaurs and my name on it, and I thought, I can make this. I paid $30 for it, and here I'm like, I can totally make this. So now I need a Cricut so I can make all the fancy Halloween and fall decorations and make Starbucks cups and just, you know, find all this time that I don't have to do all of these things because I can't help myself. I just can't. Alright, I've got some new glitter. This is called Chunky Ultra Sparkle Copper and it is by uh, Fizz Fairy Crazy Color. She sent me a bunch of fun things to use and I thought this was so pretty. It's biodegradable as well and it just looks so realistic like well it looks like it could be real glitter <laughs> like the plastic metal kind that doesn't biodegrade but I think this is really pretty and we're going to use it I'm going to let this sit for 24 hours or more depending on when I get back in here and cut it <laughs> I'm going to get a little spray with rubbing alcohol and when I cut it I have some little acorn melt pores that I am going to attach to the front of it that is the plan Turning out the hall. Voila, I'll give you a close up. Alright, let's try this angle from today and see how this goes. Let's cut into this autumn walk. I think I've made it with mine. Autumn walk soap and see what we got on the inside. That is the inside. So we do have some glycerin rivers. The fragrance caused the soap to heat up um, and it went through a gel phase and I got a few glycerin rivers. I'm not mad at it. The fragrance on the other hand, the smell has not changed. It has not morphed any uh, more into fall in my opinion. It is still very floral but for all you fall lovers out there who are not all about the pumpkin spice. <laughs> not that I'm okay with that. This one is for you. So if you're not a big fan of pumpkin, here's a soap that doesn't have any pumpkin in it whatsoever. It's just super pretty. There is still another thing that I'm going to be adding to the front of this soap. I have these little um, melt and pour acorns. I will melt some more melt and pour and uh, use it to attach these to the front of it. There's the top of the soap. I remembered the account that I follow on TikTok who does the slip cast um, pottery and it is Shelby Share It Art. If you guys aren't following her over there, she's so entertaining and I just love the little surprises of um, the molds that she gets. She like randomly bought them, kind of like what I did, but she had no idea what they were and she just kind of pours and unmolds it and you get to see what the mold is, it's just like she does. TikTok is so addicting. I told myself I would never get on TikTok and here I am. Not only am I like addicted to scrolling through TikTok, I have joined TikTok. Um, if you aren't following me over there, I am posting a lot of the sugar scrubs that I'm making, which I have some off to the side here that I just did. So this one is, it's so fun. I love making them. The Great Pumpkin is what I'm calling this one. A lot of my Halloween soaps I'm doing in small batches. Those are not going to be up on YouTube. Those are going to be over on my TikTok. And besides just scrolling through TikTok, and having a, a TikTok account that I post on, it is such a bad influence. I swear, I've gotten into so many crafty things. I've cooked so many recipes. I've bought so many things that I've seen on TikTok. It's awful. <laughs> I want to make one of those like hobbit wreaths that I saw on there. It's like you take a wreath and you cut out a, a circle board and you glue it or hook it to the back of the wreath and paint it green and put a little doorknob on it and it looks like a little hobbit hobbit door wreath. Yeah, that's next on my list. There's so many things to see on there that I'm like, I can do that. I saw these little potion bottles someone made. With, I'm like, I have mica. I can do that. Someone decoupage their coffee table with old Harry Potter books. I want to do that. <laughs> so if you're not on TikTok, Lucky you, because I can't stay off of it. 
Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to purchase the soap, it will be available on September 29th. It's when all of my fall themed soaps will be released. If you, in if you did enjoy this video, please hit that thumbs up button. Um, stay till the end because I'm going to attach to those acorns. If you are new, stick around, subscribe, think about it, join me for more fun soap making videos. And any questions or comments, you can leave for me, whoops, in the comments section down below. And until next time, I hope you have a very nice day. I smell you later.